Uh, hey, what's up? So I think I thought about uh, making the user repository or the post repository available for um, each of them of their controllers. For example, uh, this user entity to contact with the table that re that is represented by this entity, you need to uh, the get to get the user repository from uh, the connection we created here. And from that uh, repository, you can create, uh, you can execute the CRUD operations. So this need to be exist here. But remember, we added this inside the context. So one of the ways uh, to make this available uh, everywhere. Sorry, we already did that. We already added this to the context, and this is available now everywhere. To get the context inside these controllers, you will decorate uh, one of the arguments with a ctx and this is the context and if it's of type context from koa as you can see but this will have the db which is uh, not defined at the moment so let's create one of our or at least uh, yeah one of our interfaces we will create so interfaces this will be called uh, ctx.interface.typescript like this and what I will do I will export uh, interface ctx and this will extends extends uh, the context now db connection this is from type connection from type rm and this is from core not vm not sure what is that uh, and now let me create the index to TS export from the context the context and now this will be from type CTX not the context and now CTX dot DB dot get repository now give it the users entity now this is a repository for the users now you can execute find uh, delete and soft delete all of that update uh, but I won't do this uh, this is really simple and we will keep repeating ourselves for each uh, method we will get the repository the user repository you might say we can add it to the constructor like this so one second the uh, screen just froze you might say we can add it in the constructor uh, like this so this is the user repo like this repository uh, from user entity you can you might say you can add this repo equal d uh, but the issue is if you go to our app.ts this these we are passing this array of classes to this property and internally in this function uh, they will loop over the controllers and instantiate them when you hit a request so we can't pass uh, arguments to this sorry we can't pass uh, arguments to the constructor function uh, but there is a uh, way to solve this maybe it makes things more complicated but i really liked it and it will look one of the one of the my favorite frameworks it will look uh, similar to nestjs so first thing uh, I will separate the class that talks with the, in the repository from the controller so I will create a class called service so now the architecture will be each entity have a service and a controller the controller maps a route to a functions in the service and the service contacts the repository which uh, re contacts the database then the response will be returned to the service, then to the controller, then to the client. Uh, so basically, basically it uh, looks like this JS, you can say. So yeah, we, we will have a service and a controller for each entity. Or uh, maybe it's a little too much, but you, you remember you can always go with this. But I don't like it. Okay, so to, now what I will do, I will create a, a dependency injection and inject the service that talks with the repository in this controller to do this I will install the package called uh, 
one second let me grab the name type di which stands for uh, type dependency injection I think so it will keep failing a couple of times I'm not sure why I'm not sure if I'm the only one getting this error but npm keeps failing when I uh, need to install something from it okay it did not this time so it's fine so what I will do I will create another folder in the source called services and inside of it I will create the user service like this users to service to ts and remember I like this because now when I type users when I try to go to specific file I can know which one uh, which right it's really nice I actually this is I, I got this idea from angular by the way so uh, first thing we we need to import the reflect metadata for the type di but we already did that in the index in the entities so it's imported globally I already explained what that what I think this do it just modifies some prototypes uh, globally okay so now we need to import from type di a decorator called service and from type rm import repository and connection and this just export class users service it has a repo property from type repository uh, user entity and a constructor which accepts a variable called or arguments called db it's from type connection from type rm and now this dot repo will be equal to db dot get repository of user entity and now I'll create an index to TypeScript so index to TS and I will export so one, one second first thing I will export from the user service the user service and since we will have many many services or at least not in these videos but in, in a real world application we will have so many of them maybe here you will export an array of these classes and we will loop over them to uh, provide them in the dependency injection framework uh, provided by this type di okay so i think in code it would make more sense but uh, i forgot we need to decorate this with the service i think you can have uh, yeah you can have some options here but i won't use this for now or at, oh, i won't use it actually so now we will export that and let me import it as well because I will use it here to export an array of classes now export const services and this is the first service we will have now if you go to our app.ts let me import uh, from services the services and now after we uh, created the connection I will just loop over them and for each service I will create an instance from it and put it inside something called the container and this container comes from the package we installed I can type uh, type di so this is the container and now for each service I will set it inside the container with its name so this is this is referencing the class itself or you can say a type and now I'll create a new instance from this service and pass to it app.contacts.db which is the database connection we created inside our entities this one here uh, maybe this is too much I'm not sure maybe tell me what you think in the comments but uh, I really like I will I like the end result. I will show it to you maybe in the next video when we create a base mo a base uh, service that all the, our other services uh, extends, which makes things uh, maybe at the start slow, but at the end uh, to be fast. 
So now we we added this. We added e sorry, we added an instance for each service we will have inside the container. Now the routing controller uh, by default supports the dependency injection uh, idea and to make it aware of our uh, container that have all these instances we will get a function called use container and just pass it our container like that and now if we go to our users controller let's, let's define our constructor and this will accept uh, something like this so private read only users service and this is from type user service so this here is, is this one here okay so whatever you pass here it's the type here just a reminder and actually you can inject uh, or at least add in the container uh, strings or uh, static things maybe yeah you can add them here and inject them if inject them everywhere i think it's a good idea to uh, if it, for example if you're having uh, a, a, a smtp server for emails maybe add the credentials here in the env and then add them or provide them in the dependency injection container then inject them everywhere so you, you only have to change uh, to change it only here if something happened um, I, uh, I would recommend that okay so now the user service exists here so let's just console log that uh, to check now let's run npm uh, run dev source app.ts actually this looks very similar to nestjs right I, I, I believe this is uh, very similar look at the service the service talks with the repository the controller just maps the route to the service and returns a response okay there's an error cool body bus i think i think i downloaded that npm store cool body bars package to json we have it um, i'm not sure to be honest unhanded Yeah, let's just wait I'm sorry but it should work I think if you if you are following this should work or I think I need to add here this no I don't need but uh, do you have anything um, let's run it now should be fine I'm not sure why this error uh, happened I mean it's already installed yeah so I mean I'm not I'm not sure what, what happened so now if you go to localhost for slash users I mean it retains this which is uh, in our route if you go here we are retaining Koa high but as you can see this is uh, the user service which has the repo the repository of the user's repository uh, so this is the basics of dependency injection you see all fr these frameworks do uh, I think this I think they are using this behind the scene or something at least similar to this um, so I think in the next video I will create like uh, a base service that provide uh, many um, functions by default and it will be generic so all of other services will uh, uh, will extend that. So anyway, thank you.